Hello, Fagesh here, and welcome back to a, another Giant Sutter tutorial. Um, we're on Mayenberg. Uh, basically, uh, I am going to show you how to do color change to textures whilst using Giant Sutter and a Photoshop program or Paint.net, which is what I'll be using. Now, um, what I've done is I've I've had a a message. Someone wants to know how to do this, and I've looked into it for them and. I didn't know how to do this myself, but I've I've learned. So what we're going to need to do is, uh, in, I'm going to show you the import with the texture it has already, and then we're going to change it. So if I import the uh, brick fence, which is what I added, um, so if I import this, it will take a little while for it to load as a lot of objects in the game. So if we go over here to the object. Right, so here it is. Uh, that fence should not be there. Okay, so it won't let me select it. Okay, so we're just going to have to ignore that. Oh no, there we are. Press delete on that. Right, so here's the fence with the the bricks around it. Now, in order for us to change the texture, we are going to need to open the folder, open the object itself in the folder, and then you have the free textures here. Now this is obviously the metal, the bricks and uh, I guess that's an over texture or something. Now for us to edit this what we're going to need to do is open it with a Photoshop or Paint.net, that's the wrong one I don't want to do that, uh, Photoshop or Paint.net uh, or any editing software we've got. Now this is the bricks texture. Now I'm going to change it with breeze blocks so to do this, if we just copy the image and then paste it in here, uh, once it loads, uh, keep canvas size. Actually, I don't want it that big before it was nice and awesome, but it seems to grow in size. So uh, let me uh, control C that and let's find another good image. Um, so, actually, if I print screen, that would be easier. Control N, and then uh, editing software here. Um, right. So if we come back to this now, and um, if we add the breeze blocks, just keep Control N, pasting that all the way across. Obviously, you want to create it so it looks looks good. Uh, I'll let you do that, uh, make it look good. I'm just going to rush this. So, yeah, uh, just two more to do. And we can go open Giants Editor. Right, so if we do this, Control S, save it. Okay, um, I think it needs to be saved as a .jpeg. Uh, we don't want to save that. Right, so now we've done that, let's minimize this um, and open up Giants Editor again. Right, so now we're in, you can see that it hasn't changed at the moment. That is because we haven't reloaded the textures in Giant Sitter. Now for us to reload them, there's a little circle called Reload All Textures and Reload Textures. So if we just click on Reload All Textures, it'll take a little while just to reload them. And as you can see, now we have a breeze block fence. So this is what it's done. Now obviously, um, where has it gone? Uh, it's not going to look right because I've just rushed this and not taken my time and plus there's little things but see if you line these up perfectly it will look brilliant and you can do that with most textures in the game including buildings as long as you know what they're called um, I haven't worked that bit out yet but I'm willing to give it a go see if we can do it straight off so if we click on this building here it comes up with a village house if we just click on that and see if we can find that somewhere Right, uh, right. So it's over here. Right, so here we got a village house. Now, if we open up our folder and type in uh, not that one, uh, it's probably going to be here somewhere. Village house. So if we open up this, you've obviously got textures. So here's the house, obviously. So if we open one of these and change it, it's going to change the. It will be this one here or unless you want to change the roof then by all means um, so yeah this is how we change the textures on everything uh, I'm 
I'll give it a quick go with the house, shall I? Uh, so if I right click on this, uh, open with paint.net, hopefully this is the right texture. Now oh, where's everything gone? Uh, yeah, I don't know how to do this, but if we'll try the roof. Uh, open with paint.net, here's the roof. Uh, what texture would we like? We'd just like to, to do a tester, I'll just put my name on it or something. So, yeah, let's make that green stand out, bigger text. Okay, it won't actually fit on there, but that will be fine. Control save. Right, so that's that done. Now, if we go back into Giant Set Editor, reload all textures, that's not actually going to be that house. What house would it be? going to be one of these. I've actually forgotten how to use Giants out there for a second there. Uh, let's go over here, see if it's this house here. It's one of the village houses that we've changed. So, I'm just going to have to look. No. It's one of these, I believe. Okay, so I can't find it. I obviously still don't know how to use do we reload all textures? I don't know how to use that yet, but I will try and learn. As soon as I find out, I will create a video on it. So, yeah, this has been Fagash, and please remember to like, it helps a lot. Uh, if you, it's up to you if you want to. Um, so, ah, here it is. Ah, so, what was this actually called then? Oh, it was a roof on the villi village house. It was actually the village house that it was on. All oh, right, yeah, village house so one, which is what we changed, wasn't it? So, yeah. So this has been Fagash. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let's go back down to our breeze block fence. Oh no, it's not. So yeah, this has been Fagash. Like I've said about six times now. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Um, if you need help with anything in Giant Setter, just give me a message, I'll happily research and see if I can do it, uh, and I'll make a video on it for you. So yeah, uh, see you next time, bye.